Meet the esophageal Doppler simulator. This video shows you how to set it up ready for use. Lift the simulator's face by unclipping the stud at each side of the head. Remove the white plug to expose the simulator's esophageal tube. The EDS is already partially filled with ultrasound gel. However, it needs to be topped up for optimum use. Gently thread a probe into the simulator's esophageal opening until the end of the spring is just protruding. Then fill the supplied syringe with gel. The fill hole is located at the opposite end of the EDS. Remove the plug and insert the tip of the syringe. Gently push the syringe plunger until gel starts to appear at the esophageal opening. Remove the syringe and reinsert the plug. The probe can now be removed and wiped clean. The face can now be clipped back into position. The EDS is now ready to be plugged into the mains electricity supply. Look underneath the end of the body. Here you will see a three-pin socket for the mains electricity supply cable and also a jack socket to relay the arterial signal to the EDM+. The other end of this cable is plugged into the back of the monitor. The power switch is found here. Plug the patient interface cable into the front of the monitor. Your simulator is now ready to use.